and I want to talk a little bit about how do we fix the dreaded hook. Uh, it's a shot that really a lot of high level players fear, including myself. I think a lot of the guys and gals on the tour really uh, are afraid of hitting a hook, particularly under pressure, you know, when the adrenaline's going, they want to be aggressive, they want to be able to swing hard, but the last thing they want to do is start hooking the golf ball. You just feel like you don't have much control over what's going on if you're starting to hit big hooks. So let's talk a little bit about how you can maybe control that, how you can fix that, and what are the causes of a hook. So the first thing that we should look at, number one, is your club face. You know, what is your club face like at the top of the swing? If your club face is pointing to the sky, then it's closed. And what I mean by that is if I go from here and take it back down to impact without any manipulation, you can see that that face is going to be going way left of my target line. So we have to address this. So let's take a look at our grip. A lot of you out there may have a grip that's a little too strong. And what I mean by that is it's probably too much in your fingers, turned too far to the right, and you might be able to see all five of your knuckles, okay? Too many. And what happens when, when someone grips the club like that, typically their other hand, their right hand, is far too far under the club. And when they take the club back, they get it in this position here. And you can see that face is pointing to the sky. And if I bring that down, that face now is pointing way left. So that's strike one as far as trying to beat the hook. So let's get the proper grip going. Let's hold the club up, make sure the grip runs diagonally from the base of our forefinger to underneath our heel pad. And when we close our hand over the top of the grip, you can see now when I look down, I can see two and a half, maybe three knuckles. And I would consider that, you know, a neutral grip and pretty much used by most players. And I think it really enhances the chances of the club face being in a better position at the top. Your right hand is going to fit on there mostly in your fingers and the V formed by that forefinger and thumb along with the, this V should point somewhere between your neck and your right shoulder. All right. So those of you who have the grip turned too far to the right, check that out and maybe make a little adjustment and turn it a little more to the left. Occasionally, I'll see someone who has it in the palm of their hand and when it goes back, their wrist works this way and it also closes the face and they actually they have no wrist mobility so it's really almost a double negative they're not going to be able to create much speed with their wrist in this position if the club is too much in the palm of their hand so again go through the steps left hand runs diagonal at the base of the fingers close over the top the right hand fits on there and these v's run parallel somewhere between the neck and the right shoulder all right when we have that neutral grip now at the top you can see that the club face is in a much more square position in line with my left hand this is a huge fundamental in the game and the, and the and if you can really work on having this kind of position at the top of your swing it's going to eliminate a lot of problems for you in the future okay the more neutral we can get our hands and club face to be the better off you're going to be so the second part of the bad hook is the path of the club and what happens there is that club's working way too much into out okay now I really know about this because I struggled a little bit with this in my game but I've got some really great ideas for you coming up that are going to help you get rid of it okay so I can demonstrate this bad hook because I hit it too many times in my career all right so path way in and out club face is shut leads to disaster probably looks something like this so I'm gonna have a closed face I'm gonna swing excessively in to out and that ball is gonna curve like crazy from right to left that's not a shot you can play good golf with okay so let's talk about how do we get the correct path now maybe this is a little drill that I do and maybe there's some hockey players out there that are really be able to do this really well because I've never played I played with some hockey players in pro-ams and they seem to hit the ball great so the slap shot we're gonna take I've got my alignment stick here I'm gonna split my hands I'm gonna pretend now I'm in the NHL there's my hockey puck right here 
So if I have a excessive in to out path, I'm not gonna be very good at hitting a slap shot. Because as I skate up to this puck and I go in to out, my stick is gonna hit the ice. I'm never gonna hit the ball, all right? So the motion to hit a great slap shot as I'm skating into this puck is once I plant my left, my forward skate, I've got to open up like this to reach that puck. And you can see a whole different position with my chest here. My chest is now out in front of the golf ball. My right shoulder has moved really well into the shot. My left shoulder has cleared. And here, now my path is working more this way on plane, okay, which is gonna allow me to stop hitting that hook. What happens when you have an excessive in to out swing, your right side stops, your spine tilts to the right, this club starts rolling over as we go through the strike, and that's where you're gonna have vicious duck hooks. All right? So I'm gonna show you how I practiced, and it really helped me get out of hooking it. Number one, check your grip. Number two, I'm gonna give you some shots that you can hit off downhill lies and show you why it works. Okay, so here we are, we've got a downhill lie. This drill has probably been the best drill in the last 10 years for my own personal golf game. So I really, really encourage you to try this out, especially if hooking the ball or pulling the ball has been a big issue for you, okay? So this downhill lie, I don't want you to try to help the ball in the air. The key to this downhill lie shot is I want you to swing down the slope. So when you watch, you're gonna see my shoulders, instead of tilting, they're gonna be turning. And that turning is the feeling we want, okay? So my chest is gonna continue to turn through the shot, and I'm gonna finish, my shoulders are gonna be level, and as a result, I am gonna eliminate this face rotation that's caused by swinging way out to the right, okay? So I'm not gonna to try to hit this hard in the beginning, and I'm gonna set up downhill lie, and my feeling is, is right from the top, I'm gonna to swing down the slope and finish over here. So let's take a whack at one here. So you can see, I finished down the slope, my spine was straight, shoulders were turning instead of tilting, ball went straight. So let me try one more. This one I'm gonna put a little more speed on it with the same concepts in mind, all right? Setting up. I've got my nice neutral grip. I'm going to swing down the slope. When I do, that right side fires through. No club rotation, straight shots. Okay, so let's review some of the ways that we can maybe stop that excessive hooking problem, okay? Number one, let's check our grip. Make sure our face is more neutral at the top. We don't want that club face pointing to the sky, all right? Nice 45 degree angle, flat left wrist. So make sure your grip is in order. That's a good place to start. And then of course, the next big issue is club path. And normally when we see, these, when we see people really hooking it, that club path is coming excessively from in to out. Spine tilts to the right. There's no right side in the swing. And the closed face along with in to out motion that face is even closing more, so you're gonna hit a big hook. So remember the hockey drill, where we split our hands, we pretend we were in the NHL, and we stride? You're gonna feel your chest open up, you're gonna feel that you have more room to swing on plane to the left, okay? And you won't have as much club rotation. And a great way to practice that feeling was hitting balls off a downhill lie. When we do, I don't want you to try to help the ball in the air. We're gonna swing down the slope. So our shoulders are gonna work down the slope. This way, no good. And it's more hooks, more hooks and blocks. This way, it's gonna straighten out your shots and eliminate that hooking problem.